So I picked something up from Laura Piana. Then I ordered these. They sent the entire selection for me. They're all clay to poke, now they think of it. And then I got my Saks Fifth Avenue order, which came like a very smooshed box. It's usually not like that. Good morning, or oh yeah, it's morning. No, it's afternoon. We decided to take an impromptu day trip today to the outlets. So we're gonna, actually, let me tell you what outlets are here because they're pretty good. And I asked my sister, uh, let's see, Bottega for belts and bags, Celine for winter, what does that say? Winter tweed jackets. Uh, Fendi for classics like the peekaboo bag. I don't know if they'll have anything like that, but I'll see because I've looked at that for a while. And belts, she likes there. And then Gani for dresses, knit dresses. Isabel Moran for, she said, cool boots. <laughs> I don't think I need boots, but we'll look. And then Saint Laurent, she says anything. And actually, I was looking at their Manhattan bag. So we'll see if they have anything like that and Todd's for more loafers. And then someone wants to visit Porsche Design and we'll see what parking is like because it looks very, very crowded here today. Uh, so wish us luck to find parking. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I don't know how much I can show you of the store, but we're gonna, oh yeah, where are you? I will try and take some clips here and there for you. As you can see, we went to the outlets. We were successful, not a whole lot of purchases, but I feel like that's what makes it successful. And I think that not getting overwhelmed at an outlet store or outlet mall is really difficult. I almost ended up with some things I wasn't looking for just because the deals were good. Like at Saint Laurent had these really great, almost cowboy boots for, I don't know, like 75 to 80% off. Um, but they weren't on my list. They weren't something I was looking for. I was specifically going for um, a couple of pieces. So I think having a list really helps before going to a place like that because it is really exciting to find things deeply, deeply discounted. Um, but I think it is very wise to just stick to your list because those are things I've been looking for. So I wanted to look at especially Laura Piana and Brunello Cuccinelli. I wanna check those out because I rarely find those things on sale. And I'm working on a quiet luxury video. Um, so I hope you're interested in that topic. That is the way I'm trying to curate a capsule wardrobe right now. And so I'll be talking about quiet luxury here in a little bit and how I decide to spend my money when it comes to investing in that because not everything I have is quiet luxury because some things need to actually go in the washing machine and be in the dryer and a lot of the quiet luxury items that I have are a little bit more delicate. So I'm gonna show you what we picked up. So I picked something up from Laura Piana. Um, I'm unboxing something from Hermes too here in a little bit, but um, picked this up from Laura Piana. My husband picked up some Todd's. So let me show the Laura Piana to you. So I picked up some shoes. I was looking at, oh, I ordered some of the loafers earlier and returned them because they were too small. I ordered two that were too small and then I just didn't, totally love the style, but I love the charms on top. So here is what I picked up. I picked up these cute little Laura Pianas with the charms, and I like the gold version of the charms. I tried them on, they were really soft, and they had just come in. So I picked up these. They're really cute and really comfortable, so I thought, let me just get them. I think they were 30% off retail. And these are 37 and a half. So 37 and a half and I'm a size seven and they fit well. 
So I thought they'd be too big, but they actually were the right length for my foot. So I think a seven would have been too small. So, oh, I think actually, didn't you tell me that? Somebody told me that. So I told her I wanted US seven. So now I'm wondering about 37 and a half. Uh, anyway, they worked out, so I was really happy. And look at that plant that you could see a little bit. It looks really sad, like it's, I don't know what happened to it. The leaves are really flat, but we've been watering it. I don't know. I'm not good with plants. Okay, and then I just wanted to show you what my husband picked up at Todd's because I was tempted to get some loafers from Todd's, but I already have the white loafers. See, this is where I think you have to be really careful about outlet shopping even when it's a really good deal and there are things that you would wear because I would wear several of the loafers that I saw and they had an additional discount on top of their outlet price that day. So I had to be careful about not picking up things I didn't need even though I know I would use them, but it's nice to know it's there. So he picked up some loafers. I don't wanna totally undo this in case he wants to keep this here for a while. I don't know, it's got a foam protector here, but they're a little bit distressed looking and then I love this color combination here of the shoe, but they're the typical driver shoe. Really nice, very comfortable. And he has his vintage sports car he likes to drive, which these are perfect for. So they're actually something he can use. But I also like how they look. It's very much his style. Then I ordered these. I wasn't sure about these because I didn't try them on, but they looked cute because I was looking at the Orin flat sandals. But then I saw these and I've been looking for something to kind of fill the gap for me in terms of, um, I just needed a slight heel and I don't want something too high. I want something I can wear um, more, not every day, but something that's not going to hurt my feet. And these looked like the right height. So that's why I picked these up. And actually I don't think they're available any longer. They were only available for like a week, I think on the site. And then I kept checking back. I don't know why. I just wanted to see how interested people were in these. And then there were none. I think they had some like exotic kind of leather. Um, but let's go ahead and open these up. So, as in Hermes style, we've got the shoes in their canvas bags here. And let's see. They come, of course. Very, well actually let me keep them in here so you can see. So it's got that traditional shape in the front that their flats do, the flats do, but I like that there is no stitching. I think that's one thing I really liked about this. And then the heel height isn't so high. I like that sling, sling back so that my heels aren't popping out of the shoe all the time. Um, it does have a silver buckle now. I wish it was gold, but I think the heel height is really reasonable and then there's some structure to this heel so it's not like it's a kitten heel or anything like that it's not super small and then i actually was talking to one of the sales associates at one of the outlet stores who used to work for hermes and let me know how beautifully made their leather goods are and i was debating on these like should i keep them and he says keep them so i think i'm gonna keep well let me know what you think i think they are very sweet though and practical at the same time. So let me take this out. So they look like this. They're very lightweight too. So let me know if you have these, have you worn them? I think I could style them up with pretty much everything that I have. I have a belt on the way, hopefully it's delivered today, but I'm gonna show you some styling in that quiet luxury video that I'll be doing, and then we'll style these up if I should keep them. So let me know if I should keep them. Let me know what you think. Then this was sent to me by a brand called Araya. They were so kind and sun protection is so important to me and I love what they're doing. So this is a small company. They're um, female owned and they reached out to ask me if I wanted to try some of their sun protection. And this I think is such a great idea. Oh, they sent a note. Thank you so much for helping our women owned brand business. We appreciate your support. Our visors are I think it's a certified, certified UPF 50 plus, which means they protect 98 to 100% of damaging UV rays. Wear when you're on a walk, gardening, tennis, volleyball, yachting, yachting, I love that, etc. Clean with water, microfiber, cloth, your future self will thank you. And I wish I had known this earlier. Um, it's Angel and Cora, I think. So thank you so much for sending these over. So I let them know that I was uh, taking a 
running. I don't know, I think I got shin splints though, so it's been really hard to actually even walk these days, but I, I will continue doing some walking. So they sent a couple over, so this is one of them. This is a smaller size, and it comes like this, and you can see here it's got a protective uh, cover on it and it looks like this so it's got a padded there's a padded um, headband here and that has this visor so it looks like this okay this is right up my alley and so this is a shield that oh it comes down I guess this, this far it kind of adjusts okay I love this because like today I didn't put on SPF because I'm doing a wear test so I will wear this out and it'll help protect my skin. And then we have another one. It's a larger one. I'll put the names down below because I don't know if the names are written on there. But I like the bags. They're cute. They come in. They've got tassels on them. And you can store them in there. Okay, so this is the larger one. It's much larger. And it looks like this. There you go. So you can be totally protected from the sun in the front, on the side. And I can see. It's a little bit... Oh, that's better. Okay. So I can see outside, but it's keeping the sun from hitting my face. So I love this. I, I love it. I think it's so smart and I think it's such a good idea to protect your skin. Well now allow me to go outside. It has a little sun there. That's cute. So nicely made. So thank you so much. I will definitely be wearing this. I'll definitely be wearing this. I love it. I'll leave a link below. So thank you so much for sending these over. And then I received this from Sleep and Glow. I used their pillow and they are now making some silk items. And this is the kimono they sent over. I can always use something for when I'm getting ready um, because I have like a sweatshirt robe, but this will be nice, especially in the warmer months. And they come in a few different colors. So I'll go ahead and style this. You can actually wear this as um, like clothing too. So I'll style this up for you maybe in this vlog and just show you how I would put it over other clothes just as a wrap or as a cover up of sorts. But it's really nice silk. Lovely. So thank you so much to Sleeping Glow for sending this over. It comes with a belt as well. Now this does come with a belt here, but I would wear it out it's a cover-up without the belt. They just have on a black t-shirt and black pants and they're kind of stretchy. These are, well, they're actually both bins. Up, I've got makeup coming in too. We'll do some more unboxing of that. We're gonna go to Nobu um, here in a couple days to eat. I haven't actually been, I've tried some of their food at an event, but um, we're gonna go this time and see how it is. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing and see what else we get up to. <laughs> So we're gonna get ready here for a video. I'm gonna film a video here for, I think it's the next one that's gonna go up. It'll be about quiet luxury if you have not heard that term. It's been popping up everywhere. And the reason why it resonates with me is because I think it encapsulates what I've been trying to do for so long. So for me, it's not a totally new thing, but it's helped me kind of focus that. And I think there's a whole beauty aspect to that as well. Typically it's about clothing, but I think there's also a look when it comes to skincare and makeup. And I love an article that I read, since I've read one article, of course I get all these other, other articles about it but it talks about being high maintenance so you can be low maintenance. And I think there's a low maintenance look when it comes to makeup for this. I'll talk a little bit more about it in the dedicated video to Quiet Luxury, but I went in with one of my favorite lines. It's a gold line by Chantecaille. It has the slightest amount of glow and it's a 24 karat gold firming moisturizer that I have on. And I also use the 24 gold energizing eye cream. So if there's a little bit of a glow to my skin already, that's because of that product. And that's a really great low maintenance look, I think, if you've got the beautiful skin underneath anyway. I think that's a great way to just make it look really healthy. But I'm gonna go in with this because I do need a little bit more coverage, but we're gonna go for very minimal makeup today. So I'm going in with a Chantecaille Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. I'm going to go under the eyes. I'm also gonna go on the cheekbone area. If you have beautiful skin, you can just go in with this and be done. It's 
I think it's that beautiful. Since I'm looking for a not super perfect, but a minimal look, I'm gonna go in with more minimal coverage under the eyes. So I'm gonna use the Le Beige Complexion Touch as my concealer today. And this is in the shade B30. If we wanted, we could go down and take the excess here and use it as a bit of a concealer. Continuing with more minimal makeup, we're gonna go in with the Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. Mine's in medium plus. We have a nice natural glow, and I think I have some in my hair. Let's go in with this uh, warm pink by Chanel. Remember this blush? I haven't used it for a while. If you have beautiful skin to begin with, or as good as you can get, then I think this really lends itself to this kind of makeup because you can go very minimal without covering up the skin. Of course, I'm gonna to have to strategically take care of the center here, but for most of the face, we can go with very light coverage. High maintenance for skincare means low maintenance for the makeup part. Going with the Chanel Le Beige 392. I went in with the uh, Chanel, just this brow duo today. No gel. Just a little bit in the corners. So just the tiniest bit of concealer today. Okay, let's go ahead with just the slightest amount of La Prairie. Okay, and then let's do a little bit of this Victoria Beckham highlighter. It's in pearl. And add a little to the eyelids here. Then we're just gonna do a bit of a crease. We're going to use this Victoria Beckham in pecan. Just gonna put a crease in here really gently just to build some dimension because I'm not gonna put on a whole lot of eye makeup here. And then we're gonna just put on some mascara. So let's go in with, let's go in with a Chantecaille mascara. I'm gonna go in with this uh, lip liner, Natural, oops, for Chantecai. Just a little bit of this Chanel number no. one. This is in Lively Rosewood. Okay, and of course I have to do just a little bit of powder here. A bit of lip gloss just in the center. A little bit of Tower 28's Coconut. I've got some unboxing to do, so let's go ahead and do that. So I have a few things that I purchased and received. So one of the fun things that I received, I knew was coming, but I didn't know when. And this is the box. And I purchased a few of these, but they sent the entire selection for me. So thank you so much to Victoria Beckham Beauty. They sent all of the shades over, and I'm so excited because the three that I have that I filmed since I unboxed, I think it was earlier in this video, right? I think. I tried them on, I loved them. I have on one of them right now, as you can see in the Get Ready With Me. So we have all of the shades here. And let's see, what did I not pick up? It says Longwear Crease Proof Eyeshadow Stick inspired by her Fashion House Meet Eyewear. Their new Longwear Crease Proof Eyeshadow, seven shade selection. It says it's her ultimate wardrobe lookbook. Incredibly versatile. So we've got Pecan, which I actually have on right now. We have this one. Ooh, this one is in Sunflower. It's like a yellow color. Wow, it's really yellow. So let's just put that here. It's like a marigold almost. Not sure how we'll use that one, but excited to try this one. Looks promising. It's maybe like the second one I would pick or third. It's not a basic color, but it's which is my style, um, and this is in Macaron, and it's this pinkish color, a light pink. Yeah, we'll have to think about how to use these. Then we also have Bottle Green, which is what I picked up. There's also Caramel, which is what I picked up. We have Trench. Oh, I was wondering about this for the inner waterline, actually. I do want to pick this up for that. Let's see if I can apply that right now. I don't have a mirror, but I have my phone. Let's see. 
Let's see if that will work in the, like in the lower water line to cancel out any darkness. Well, this is not the best situation here, but let's try. How does that look? We'll have to take a closer look at that, but that's what I wanted to pick that up for. And then we have here Oyster, which is right there. Ooh, excited to try these. So thank you so much to Victoria Beckham Beauty for sending all of these over. How fun. Oh yeah, I also picked up a couple of things. There's one find. So if you have any resale or um, consignment stores near you, it's always a good idea to check because I found something pretty amazing. And I feel like you can buy pre-loved online, which I've done before. Um, but this one, I feel like they didn't know what they had. It was a pretty good price. So I picked this up at a local consignment store and it doesn't look like it. It's very quite luxury because you can't, I don't know if you can even tell from here what it is. It's very small. The logo is very small in there and it's not a typical button I've seen on their clothing. You can kind of tell. I think you probably can tell what this is at this point. It's so beautifully lined. This is Chanel and I found it in my local consignment place and it's got this beautiful chain link detail on there and I picked this up so I'll show you a little video of it. but I saw it once I thought I don't need it and then I kept thinking about it. it's one of those things I kept thinking about and I'm glad I went back because it's my size it's in 42 so that was another thing that's you know tricky when it comes to pre-love because it has to be something in your size and this is from 1999 so that's why I love Chanel clothing or any really high quality garment because they last for decades. I'm sure the person who had this took care of it too. I've had it dry clean since, but it's in really good condition for 1999. And then I have since worn this and laundered it myself. Um, it's dry clean only, but it seems like for this kind of thing, I, there was gonna be a way that I could just hand wash it. And this is cotton and cashmere. So this is James Purse Classics and it's cute it's got this little hood on the back and I think I did I wear it in a video already I may have but I'll show you a close-up because it's got uh this open neck here with a hoodie on the back and it's the softest lightest weight material I didn't think it was practical I mean it's not the most practical thing because it's very casual but it's also something you have to dry clean but I figure out a way to uh use a steamer to kind of get it a little bit fluffy again because the texture on it is like a soft fluffy texture and then i also got sweatpants that go with it so you can wear these as separates or together and they're, it's the lightest weight softest material yeah a bit high maintenance kind of like the skincare part where it's high maintenance to be low maintenance i don't know if that exactly translates into that little outfit i just showed you but i also picked up something i've been looking for so long for a belt i've looked at fendi and then i thought maybe i don't love the logo on the front i used to love that Gucci belt, but I'm glad I didn't pick it up because it is a very, um, very apparent logo. So I wanted something classic, something understated, but still made a statement at the same time. And I got help from my sister on this and I think it really hits the mark. So if you're looking for a belt that hits all those marks, you might want this one. And I think it's a permanent thing. And I also love this designer. Okay, I've already worn this. So if you saw my Instagram, you'll have seen, I have posted a video, not a video, uh, an image of me wearing this. And it's by Neely Lotan. Let me see if I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Neely. Okay, I just looked it up to see if I was pronouncing correctly. I believe it's Neely Lotan. But she's a really great designer. When you look at her pieces, they are very much a timeless, classic kind of cut and look and colors, everything you want. And this is a belt that I got. So it doesn't look like something super amazing, but it really does elevate an outfit. I just had a black t-shirt on with some khaki pants and I added this belt on the other day and it was perfect. So I'm hovering around size six, eight these days, like a 28, 29. I love the satiny kind of leather finish. And the metal here is brushed almost, so it's not shiny. So I like that too, it's a bit understated, but it's got the gold of more of a 24 karat gold color. So it's warmer, it's more rich. So if I want it the tightest um, 
like closest to my waist size with pants that hit right at the waist, it's this button here. It's the second button, not button, the hole here. So this is the first hole, this is the second hole, and then you've got one, two, three more opportunities. So I can wear this right on my waist or also uh, a little bit lower on my hips if I want. So I love this. And I think for a dress, maybe this tightest loop will be the best fit without much fabric. So if I wanted it really tight on the waist, it would be on the first hole there. So if you wanted this, they have it in brown too. I think it's such a great staple piece. I'm gonna wear this quite a bit. I'll style this up for you in the next video that I do. I picked up more eyeshadow sticks on the Hourglass 20% off. Two of the new eyeshadow sticks. I'm gonna do a comparison for you, like a buy this, not that kind of video. I picked up Moon and Aurora. Aurora, that's hard to say, Aurora. <laughs> so, so far I've got the Victoria Beckham. I've got now these Hourglass. Um, what else did I pick up recently? Oh yeah, and the other ones. Oh, interesting. They come out like their lip shades. So this one is in, ooh, these feel really buttery. This one's in Moon right here. And this is the shade Aurora. So this is more like a sagey green. Oh, interesting. It's like a sagey green. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? It's like a sage green and brass, like a brass. Is that what I'm thinking? Not brass. Brass? I think there's another word I'm looking for, but it's more on the green side. So I do want to try all the green eyeshadow sticks that seem to be coming out. I don't know why green is like the iteration they're going for, but I've got bottle green, I've got khaki green. Now I have this other one, Aurora, Aurora. <laughs> and then I got my Saks Fifth Avenue order, which came like a very smooshed box. It's usually not like that, but I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened here, but I ordered a few things. They had a sale, so I picked up a few things, and of course we'll do another look with some of these new things. But I picked up, oh, I don't know why this is so smushed, but I picked up their powder. Oh, I picked up, actually, these are all clay de poe, now that I think of it. I know you wanted me to try their Perfect Lash Mascara, which I'm predicting is going to be kind of like a soft, very slowly buildable kind of mascara. Uh, based on other luxury mascaras that I've tried, but we'll try it because I'm curious too. I also picked up pressed powder. I loved, loved, loved their, um, oh gosh, their loose powder was one of the best powders I ever tried. Beautiful, simple packaging here. And then we also have this uh, powder puff, which doesn't seem amazing, but it says store puff on top of this film, fold back before use. Oh, so they want you to keep the film on here. And I thought it was gonna be totally translucent, but it does have a, like the slightest tint of a shade there. So we'll try that. And then, oh, it's very soft though. Some of it already was removed. It looks very, very finely milled. Very finely milled. So we're gonna try that. I love a good powder. And then I finally got this. After how long did I talk about this? I finally picked one up. And it's not necessarily even a color in there, but it's the case. The case, whoops, the case for their blush. So I love their blushes and I haven't worn them because I keep damaging them because I don't have a case. So I have at least one case and then we'll use this blush with the powder and see how that turns out. And we'll use that with some of the other, I guess the eyeshadow sticks I picked up. I have some PR that came in from this uh, brand called Bastide. And I'm excited to try them because I've never tried their products before. They've included a nice note for me from Provence. It says, Bonjour, we welcome you to Bastide's range of natural skincare, exquisite fragrances, and luxurious candles, all lovingly and passionately made in Provence using French beauty techniques passed down through the generations. We can't wait to hear what you think. Thank you so much for sending this over. There's quite a bit of product in here. Okay, so I got really excited about this first one because I'm always looking for a hand cream. I never can seem to have enough. I've got one in my bag, I've got one in the car, I've got one everywhere just so I can always moisturize. My hands are so dry all the time, but this is a deep repair hand cream. It's the Creme Intense. I love when they absorb into the skin really well. I don't like a residue or like a greasiness to them. It smells good and I can't pinpoint the fragrance right now, but um, I will leave notes below for you, but really nice. Yeah, I'm gonna really enjoy using this made in France, it says. We also have this, I'm glad they put it in a little bag just in case it leaked. This is the Ombre Marquis Savon 
Feu Le Cour. I don't know if I said that correctly. This is a body wash. Ooh, there's a, is that a fig? There's a, oh, there's like a oud scent in there as well. Beautiful, it smells really lovely. We have an eau de toilette, it's a vervine de soude. It's like this. And oh, wow, I love the bottle, it's so cute. Right here. This reminds me more of a fruit scent, but a very gentle one. Okay, I just looked this up and this is the Vervine de Soude, this one right here. Utterly clean citrus scent, oh, I like that. It's gonna be a fruit scent. I love citrus and it says it's clean. I love that sparkling burst of Italian lemon mingled with fresh verbena leaves and crisp amber. And then this body wash, the fragrance is, it says, Oh, it's got Provence olive oil and coconut oil. The fragrance here is Italian tangerine top notes and bottom notes of patchouli and sandalwood. And the patchouli is not strong and overwhelming here, but I think it brings out that sandalwood a little bit. Really lovely. Then we've got the Ombro d'Or. These are potpourri scented crystals. Ooh, I smell that these are beautiful. Gorgeous, look how beautiful those are. I was expecting little ones, but they're large. And of course, keep out of reach of children, you know, and just, but they are gorgeous. Look how beautiful. So it means amber gold in French and infused with their signature amber fragrance and have enchanted homes for a quarter of a century. They sent this refresher oil that goes with the uh, potpourri. Use dropper to add to amber crystals to revitalize scent as needed. And then, the Le Triple Flum. It's a candle discovery set. Oh, I can smell them already. There's three of them in here. They're very cute, of course. This fragrance in Amber Soir. Top notes are geranium, mid notes, patchouli, sandalwood, and the base, lebdanum, sweet musk, light water, and then there's a heart, so that must mean love. So this one, top notes are clove bud, cade, heart, cedarwood, base, cashmere, wood, smoky vanilla, light water, and love. This one, Top notes are crisp fig leaf, sweet cassis, heart, fig milk, base, warm notes, soft musk, light water, and love. Thank you so much for sending these over and thinking of me, and I'm gonna enjoy especially using that hand lotion. And then I got my net -a order. This is actually something that I ordered. There was a flaw with it, so I asked for an exchange. Um, so we have this, and I asked for the sustainable packaging? I can't remember what it's called, but they recycle their boxes. So I'm happy to have a recycled box. It doesn't have to be a fancy box. And I got this on the promotion. And this is something I've been looking at for a while. And when I saw that it was included in the promo, I thought I would try it. It's by Olivia Von Hale. And this definitely goes along with this mess. This definitely goes along with that whole quiet luxury idea. And this is, I think the ultimate in luxury. Kind of reminds me of the James Purse items I picked up in that it's, it's very much a luxury for the wearer. wearer. And it's the silk and cashmere, uh, it's a set, it's a hoodie and some, uh, sweatpants. I've been looking at cashmere loungewear, but it can tend to look, I think, worn after a while because depending on the cashmere, but I thought with the silk, it's a little bit of a smoother texture. It's a little more, a little less bulky as well. The one that I had had a weird like anomaly in the fabric, so I exchanged it and they made it quite easy. So we'll try this, I'll inspect it as well. I was able to get it for a little bit of a discount, which again, which is why I love timeless pieces because you can get them on a promotion. And here are the pants. This definitely is an elevated basic. So if you are into this quite like, I'm gonna say it so many times, you're gonna get tired of hearing it, this quiet luxury style. Make sure to tune into an upcoming video very soon because I'll be collaborating with one of my very favorite people here on YouTube and I'll be talking all about how I decide how to invest because it, it can very quickly add up when you're looking at these pieces, but there's a method to how I decide how to invest. I've been investing more lately because I haven't shopped in quite some time. So I'm trying to be really thoughtful about my purchases. I plan to get my use out of these and wear them over and over and over again, season upon season. So not just for the season, but they should be things that will cover the entire year, depending on just how the weather is, but they shouldn't be things that I'm taking in and out of my closet, but things that I can wear all year round. So if you are interested in that topic, make sure to tune into that video that's coming 
coming up very soon. But that's it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da